Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. As usual, of course, it's me, Constantine, and today in the world of indie games, we're gonna be checking out a game called Antivine, and this one is a game that I personally heard quite recently about, and I was really, really impressed about the look of it, and of course, this is gonna be a puzzle game, and you guys know that I absolutely love playing puzzle games on this channel here, and if you guys enjoy these type of games and want to see more like this in the future, make sure you hit on the like button down below, and also, before we jump into this one, I would like to take this opportunity here to thank the publisher for providing a review copy to share the game with you all, and also, of course, uh, the indie game collection for making this possible. So without further ado guys, sit back, relax, and uh, let's just see what Antivine is all about because I have a feeling we're gonna really, really enjoy this one. Let's do this. All right, there we go. This is how beautiful this game looks. Let me look at that. Uh, Shenshu, today is your 16th birthday. It's time to check what you have learned. Sure, mom. Look what I got today. Lots of berries. Awesome. And of course, we can use the uh, mouse here to zoom in and out. Uh, we are playing this on, on the PC, though. If you guys are interested in the game, check out the links down below the description. Of course, the game is available right now. And uh, do let me know what you guys think about it if you get yourself the game. And uh, this is how you move your character around. I'm going to be guessing we're going to have to move quite a bit of uh, these maybe platforms around the base so that we can make our way to the eggs every single time. Great job, Senshu. All right, there we go. Come on, let's go and get some more. <laughs> oh man, this looks so good. There are lots more heads. Senshi, can you get all the berries? Sure, watch me. All right, so I'm guessing my mission is gonna be here is to get all the berries. We do have a set of berries over here. Let me collect it. This one is done. Good job, Senshu. And next up, we got another one on this side. Hey, there's a bird. <laughs> it's on your head, mom. <laughs> it's okay, Senshu. Look at these animals and plants. All the natural things are from the mountain god. The god keeps protecting this land. Hmm, I know this. Be a tree man is also a blessing from the mountain god. It makes us have plenty of food. You're right. We'll all become tree man eventually. Return back to Mother Nature. Hmm. Alright, let me keep on going then to, uh... Oh, wait. Why can I not move? Oh, I'm stopping by the bear. That's why. Remember, I'm supposed to wait for her to come along a little bit closer, yeah. And now, we can get the uh, berries. There we go. All done. Are you tired, Senshu? Nope. Because I can't become a tree man like the others. All I can do is pick up as many berries as I can. The mountain god wants to teach us to give and help each other. Yes, you must always keep this in your mind. I will, mom. Okay, let's move on to the next spot. Mom, seems like we're heading to a wrong direction. It's a dead end. Hmm, is that so? Look again, Senshu. There is a weird slate. My smart boy must know what to do. Step on the slate. So I'm guessing this is gonna activate uh, something, right? Ah, it's activating the plant. Hmm, it's moving. You're alright, Senshu. Can you help to get all the berries here? Of course. Alright, so next up I gotta find a way to get to that side as well, right? But, um... Oh, there we go. I get it. So we got this activated, and of course now we went down so we can cross it. It kind of created like a bridge. Okay, let me grab the berries then. We go, we got him. Senshu, I need to tell you something. What is it? Please forgive me. Mom? Well, you are different since you are little. People in the village stayed away from you because you were born without the uh, sacred sign. So your dad cut off the branches of his body and used them as your amulets. With that, you could disguise yourself and pray for the blessings from the gods. But now I'm wondering maybe we were wrong. It's okay, Mom. I like these little twigs. <laughs> this is also the connection between me and Dad. And don't worry, I am big now, and I can't protect you. Mommy's happy that you're a big boy now. <laughs> Alright, let's keep on going to the next one. I love it when these puzzle games also have a little bit of lore into them, not just, of course, the puzzles. 
you remember the map that I gave you before? Uh, you mean this one? Yeah, look at the map and see what's uh, what's on it. Hmm, those not blessed will meet the gods. I want you to look for the land and meet people like you. Like me? Yeah, it's going to be a tough journey and you need to be strong. Mom will always support you and be by your side. I get it, Mom. Alright, let's move on to the uh, plate here. Next up, let me go ahead and grab me more berries and then we're going to be able to cross. Oh, I think when she's going to step on that... Oh, never mind. I thought for a second that she was going to deactivate it, but no. Okay, let me collect those berries. And I have a feeling because I'm going to cross here. Probably the bridge is going to disable. Or maybe not. There we go. Um... Am I supposed to interact with that? I don't think so. Let me just step on this. Senshu! I might be tired. I want to stay here. Can you go ahead and get some more? Uh, don't worry, Mom. Just stay here. I'll be back with lots of them. Alright. Hmm. Well, how can I cross this? Senshu, learn to see things in a different way. A different way? Yeah, looks like shit. <laughs> Am I supposed to turn this one around? Oh, I get it. Seeing things in a different way. Yeah, that's right. Senshu is a smart boy, though. Sometimes we just don't get the side what things look like. But we can change our point of view. Our point of view? Yeah, well, uh, I'll keep that in mind. Okay, so I think what I gotta do here is kind of rotate the camera. I'll be back soon, Mom. Senshu, take care of yourself. Okay, so, uh, all we gotta do is just that. Ah, that is so cool. So, of course, we gotta rotate this one until it's gonna be in the right perspective, just like that. There we go. Huh. That's pretty smart. Let me grab berries here. And, of course, this one only moves only if I'm stepping on the plate. It's done. Mom is very happy. I have a feeling Mom is not gonna be here anymore. Oh, I think she just turned into a tree. Are you kidding me? She did. Are you right, Mom? No. Mom? No. I can't cry now. I need to do the planting ceremony for her. I need to go back for help. What? She just turned into a tree. Are you kidding me? Oh, man. That is so cool. Alright. Let's just turn this one to this, to this perspective, I guess. Like, right about here. And now we can cross. So I'm guessing all these plants that uh, I'm using to collect the berries from, they also used to be uh, creatures just like us? I think so, I'm not a hump sure. I still remember when I just returned from collecting berries from the forest. I wanted to show my mother the berries that I had collected. But she had already become a tree man. I was shocked. The grief and pain were overwhelming. I asked people in the village for helping me to complete the ceremony. Nobody wanted to help, seriously? Despite I asked for help, sincerity, still no one was willing to give a helping hand. Man, come on. Why? Why is everybody so mean with us? The cold eye villagers made me so unsure of what I'm supposed to do. Harsh criticism and judgment I couldn't resist. And just let them abuse. At that moment, I just wanted to get away from it all. I told myself, from now on, I only rely on myself. To look for something, I don't know how hard this journey will be, but I'm no longer afraid. I will do my best to overcome the difficulties. Farewell, mother dear. Farewell, my home. Oh, man, seriously? Alright, well, I guess uh, it's only us now. Mom, the color of this leaf is different from the previous ones. Well, hmm, she's not with me anymore. I have to figure it out on my own. I remember she told me to look for things from a different way. 
I'm gonna find it. All right, so apparently this one has different colors, um, and I'm gonna be guessing. Come on, buddy. I'm gonna be guessing if I turn this one, it's probably not gonna work because it's a different color. Oh, what about those fishies? My mother once said that the food in the village was scarce. That's why the berries of the tree men are the main food for the village. If I can become a tree man, I can contribute to my tribe. But I have tried so hard to make up this mistake. Hey, Senshu. Oh, wait, what? They took my horns away. What the heck? Hey, my branches. <laughs> Come on. Come and get it! Oh my god, bullies! Give him back to me! Are you kidding me, game? You just can't be a tree man! Stop putting these on you and try to be like us! Wow, I absolutely hate tree man! Uh, not tree man, I absolutely hate bullies! What the heck? Why don't they just mind their own business? <laughs> I'm climbing the tree trying to get myself the branches. Oh no. But I love it that he's not giving up though. Look at that. He's all bruised up and he's still not quitting. He eventually got it, of course. Oh man, poor guy. We just gotta go, we just gotta leave. Mom, I'm back. Oh, he came back home. For some reason. Hmm. Oh, he he's just remembering, of course. I get it now. My good boy. Let mommy know if you ever need help, okay? You must be very hungry, right? Dinner's ready. Alright, um, so. We just gotta look around and try to figure out how to solve this one. Is it gonna work? No. Oh, this one is turning even if I'm not stepping on the plate. Huh. I wonder what if I just step on this and turn? That's true. That's exactly what's happening. So apparently you can turn it even if uh, you're not stepping on the plate. Okay, okay, okay. We solved it. Let's turn like that and make my way to the next destination. Some plants get brighter the closer you get. Alright, uh, first of all, I gotta turn this one around because this one's gonna turn only if I step on the plate. Uh, let me get this one turned like that, I guess. And now I gotta step on this one. And this is probably gonna activate this plant at the bottom, right? Yep, I knew it. Okay, let me turn around. Step on this one to turn this one actually around. There we go. Can I interact with that bird? Ooh, yes we can. Oh, because she's black, all the other white birds ran away from it. So I'm guessing that bird is also having its own bullies it has to deal with. I have a feeling this bird is actually going to follow me on every level. Alright, next up. Oh, who's this one? Hmm. Hey, what a beautiful tree. Who's there? Ah, uh, look at this one. Can I interact with her? Mm, no. Are you alright? It's okay, I'm Senshu. I'm not gonna hurt you. Oh, <laughs> she's got a rock trying to throw it at me. Are you lost? Are you hungry? Here, take this. I think I'm just giving her some berries, but she doesn't wanna. No good? Hmm. How about this one? 
She likes that one. Look at that. Great. You like purple ones. Others in the village say that the purple ones taste bad and reckon that I'm a freak. You must have been lost for a while, eh? What's your name? Why are you here alone? Okay, so her name is Mumei. Mumei, what's your, where's the family? Do you know where they are? My family? Hmm. Changing fields. Ch changing fields? What's changing fields? White stones there. I don't know about white stones. I'm not sure if you are talking about the same place. But I'm also about to leave the village. I'll be worried if I leave you here like this. Do you know? Do you want to come along with me, Mumei? Probably you will recall the way back home. Mumei wants to go home. Yeah, I think it's going to be dangerous, and we have to stay with each other. Look, I have a backpack here. You can stay inside. <laughs> Is she just gonna jump on my backpack? Seriously? All right, click on Senshu, and then of course she's jumping on my backpack. Seriously? <laughs> okay then, let's go. Oh man, look at that. <laughs> uh, all right. What about this tree? Apparently, I already got the um, berries out of that one. There's another bird over here. Hmm. Danger's there. Have you ever been there? No. But Mr. Bird told me. Mr. Bird? Yeah. Mr. Bird said that the plants are dangerous. Who's Mr. Bird? Well, he's gone now. <laughs> okay. So apparently, those birds are actually helping us. Um, why should she say that the plant is dangerous though, I wonder? Hmm, well, it seems that it loves one at a time. Oh, you know what? Maybe I can actually get it to stand there. Will I actually move like that? Hey! Come on over! Ah, you can call for her. I get it. Uh, so what I'm gonna do here... I'm actually gonna activate this one. Great. Next, make Mumei stand on the leaf and then come here. Come on, Mumei. Watch your step. You must stop when I tell you to, alright? Alright? Uh, so. Hey. Let me call for her. Oh, but I gotta tell her when to stop. Good. Stop right there. Next. Hey. Make Mumei step on the leaf and call her. But first, I gotta step on this. Now get it down. And now, get Mumei to come to me. There we go. Good job, Mumei. Look at that. Oh man, this is so good that we're gonna be able to have like another friend with us that we can control. The mechanics are getting better and better for this puzzle game and I love it. Alright, let's see what it's gonna do. So it's activating that flower. Hmm, it's close. We're almost there. Where? The place we're about to go to is called Silent Moon Lake. Silent Moon Lake? Yeah, that's right. Do you remember anything there? Uh, Mumei don't know. Well, some say that our ancestors were living there and they had made it uh, well developed. But it has been abandoned. Hmm. Anyone still lives there? Probably not, but maybe we will find something there? Alright, let's see what we can find then. First... I'm gonna have to turn myself around like that. Oh god, we have so many buttons that we gotta press. Hmm. I have a feeling I gotta use perspectives here, to be honest. Uh, or... Maybe we're supposed to go to the top on this side? How do we cross here? Huh. Yeah, we cannot cross this side, unfortunately. She's kind of going all the way down. Yeah, I cannot go anywhere. Hmm. Or, am I gonna be able to just go here? No. Yeah, I'm just getting myself all the way down there, and that's kind of about it by the looks of it. So I'm not quite sure how to change perspectives here. Uh, to make my way to the right spot.
Oh, you know what? Maybe I'm supposed to... Yeah, I think I know, I think I know. Hold up. Let me go here first of all. I think I'm gonna leave her on this platform first. But if I do that... Um, I think I gotta leave her on the leaf and then I'm gonna have to step on that. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Let me get it down. Tell her to stop there. Because I'm gonna move this one around. That's what I gotta do. Alright, there we go. Now, how do I tell her to go on... No, go back, go back, go back. How do I tell her to go there? Ah, there we go. Okay, that works. Um, tell her to step on that, I guess. And now I can cross? Awesome! Oh, this is gonna be so good. I love puzzle games. It's getting more and more interesting, and uh, that's what's making it so special. Having the ability to control more characters... It's definitely uh, making this adventure much, much more interesting. Alright, I think I gotta drop her there. Right? Hmm. Or maybe I'm gonna have to drop her there a little bit later on. Or maybe I'm supposed to place her on that, yeah. Okay, in that case. Let me do that and place her down. Get her to step down. Unfortunately, I cannot really hmm, color to come to me. And if I step on that... Oh, you know what? Never mind. I think I can actually cross. And I may need this platform instead. Actually, can I cross? Oh, we cannot cross. Never mind. Um, hmm. What if? What if I just leave her, like, about... Let's see. Here. I tell her to go down. I step on this. I tell her to come to me, and as she's gonna step on that platform, I'm gonna be able to go down. There we go! Okay, she is a little bit stuck now, but I think I may be able to activate that one. There we go. Alright, um, I gotta step on it. Okay. And now I think I can actually call her to come over, right? Yep, but I gotta go this way. Oh, wait, I'm not able to climb up, actually. Hmm. Um, in that case, let me step on the platform and then call for her. There we go. Awesome. That's more like it. Alright, come on over. Come to me. This was, this got a little bit more complicated, but it was not that difficult. I love it. Alright, I think these are enemy plants, so we gotta pay attention for them. I'm pretty sure about it. Alright, let me step on this. Oh yeah, these definitely look like enemy plants. Be careful of these creatures. It would bite you in pieces. Hmm. A slate there? Yeah, I see the slate. Ah, that's luring them down. Seems like we can use this for stopping them. Mumei, can you help me step on these? Uh, I need to go forward and have a look. Here? Don't worry, I won't leave you here. I'll be right back. Alright, so I think what I gotta do... Is, uh... Let us step there for a second. And in the meantime, I'm gonna be able to step on this. <laughs> hey, we can step on top of them. Yes, I see. But unfortunately, we cannot really do anything about it. I gotta cross to the other side instead. So let me grab Mumei first. Let me go on this side. Let us step there for a second. Well, I'm gonna be able to actually run on it. And get that one to get down as well. Here we go. Mumei, it's safe. Come on. Just don't get in front of that one, though, because he's gonna bite you. 
Awesome. Of course, this one was pretty easy. All we had to do here is just uh, figure out how to take care of the plants. That's all. But we're done. There we go. Some plants get brighter as get close to them. Oh, gods. And these levels are changing so much. It is mysterious here, and the shape of these buildings are so unique. Some paths are covered by the water. Moon? What is this? How come these things are floating on the air? There is a Stella. Seems like written something on it. Maybe we can find something about it there? Let's go. I'm guessing she's talking about this? This rune over here? Hmm, I get it. This moon-like device is for controlling the water level. People here use this system to irrigate. Incredible. Can you imagine how uh, they made this? Yeah, Mumei don't understand either. Don't worry, Mumei. I know how it works. There are two stellas in the opposite locations. The brighter one is called the Waxing Gibbous, and the darker one is called Waning Gibbous. Once the sphere passes through the uh, Waxing Gibbous pillar, the water level will rise. And if it passes through the Waning Gibbous pillar, the water level will fall. We need to control it wisely or we drown. Hmm. Okay, so apparently. Wait. Why did it go down? What? Is it changing on its own or what? Oh, I'm guessing it's changing as I'm moving this. Yeah, look at that. I get it now. So I'm supposed to not move it because if I do that, I'm gonna drown. I'm pretty sure I got a lever there, where I lift her up like that. But if I go more, she's gonna drown here, so... How do I do this then? What if I step off? Ah, she can actually get over there, I get it now. Hmm. If I call for her, she's just gonna cross through there. Okay. Oh, did she just get eaten? God dang it. <laughs> uh, at least she's stopping on that platform now. So I can kind of figure it out. Uh, let's see. So I think I gotta get her. To go here. No, because it's gonna get her to go a little bit back. Instead, I need to get her to come to a different location here. Go on that platform. Okay, should I climb up? So that is lifting her up, right? But I need to get her to go to that side. Okay, what if I step on this platform then? And I call her to come to me here. Oh no, she's gonna get eaten! Stop! No. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe what I'm supposed to do here is get on the floor myself. Just like that. The thing is, if I rotate again, I'm gonna drown, so... Yeah, again, if I rotate again, I'm gonna drown again. How do I get her to move here? Yeah, I cannot really tell her to move to that thing, can I? Oh, I just noticed that there's another platform over here I can float on. Never mind. Ah. So if I call for her now, she's not gonna be able to go anywhere. But the thing is, <laughs> I think we're... Actually, we're not stuck in a moment because we can rotate. So what if I call for her here? No, she's gonna get eaten. Oh, hold up. If I do it again, I can actually stop her. There we go. So that's how you do it. Aha. Uh -huh. So what if I go here, I call for her, and I stop her. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so what we did here is we got that thing down. Next up, I should get her to go over there somehow. Um, 
Oh, wait, can I not step on this? Yes, we can. Oh, we can also come to her. Awesome. All right, let me grab her. Um, let me place her down there for a second. Because I'm going to make my way over here. And... Call for her. Alright. Next up, we activate that flower. We can also step on this bad boy. Ah, there we go. And I think now if I call for her... she, I'm going to be able to raise her up, right? Yes, we can. Awesome. Alright, we got it, we got her. Perfect. Uh, next up. I gotta step on this plant. There we go. Oh, we made it. Look at that. A mural with some stories. Hmm. Legend has it that humans didn't have this symbol of plants long time ago. At that time, Everyone could have a long life. Live with mom and dad. Live with grandpa and grandma. Till one day. The mountain god cursed the clansmen. From the moment. People had the signs of becoming a plant. Countless branches grew from their bodies. Oh, so we are all human, seriously? Bodies got stiff gradually. Voices got weaker and weaker. And then passed away in a short life. So are we all humans? So is this the truth of tree men? Those symbols are all lies? People are cursed by the mountain gods so they become tree men? Hmm, why? Everyone so believes in gods. I don't even know whether if I should trust this. Mom? Is it a gift or a curse? I'm so confused. I need more clues. What says you? Nothing. I was just murmuring. Yeah, I was just talking to myself. Hmm. Hold up. Let me next up try to figure out how I'm gonna get all the way up there. I think what I gotta do. Um. No, no, I gotta pick her up actually. Hold up. Let me go here. Drop her down. Make my way to that side. No, no, don't call for... Dang it. <laughs> okay, so let me go here. Drop her down. Let me go here. Call for her. Now, go on this one. Call for her again. And pick her up. There we go, buddy. Awesome. This was a little bit more complicated, but eventually we figured it out. It's getting darker. We have to be careful. Okay. Alright, what do we got here? We can activate this one. Everything here is so unreal. We'd better leave now. Who may scare? It's alright. We move to a hard place. Stay away from the water. Alright, so we gotta move on to a hard place. But also we have another one of these things. So we gotta pay attention, right? So if I move to this one, we should be safe. There we go. Alright, next step, let me activate this one. Now, how do I cross? That's the question. Might actually be a little bit stuck here, to be honest. Oh, actually, no. We can move this one. And cross. Awesome. For a second there, I was a little bit confused. But we got it solved. Man, the levels are getting more and more interesting, though. Uh, let me get rid of the water first. Okay. 
Next up, I think we're gonna have to sit on these branches. And lift it up. Okay. Now where do I go? Where am I gonna go to next though? I feel like we gotta go on this lily pad so that we can lift ourselves up. Oh, hold up. Something over here. Oh, what the? What's that? Wait, what? That's my reflection. My branches. Huh. I, I thought I lost them. What's wrong, Senshu? Nothing. Let's move on, Mumei. I think there's something in the water trying to trick me. That's what's happening. Why am I supposed to lower that one down, I wonder? I have a feeling I'm probably supposed to... Leave her maybe there. I'm a little bit confused about this one. Um, yeah, because I cannot activate this one. I gotta make my way to this thing somehow. So... If I leave her down there, I cannot make my way on top of that platform though. That's the problem. So I'm gonna be guessing we gotta leave her on the plants, I think. Yeah, I think we gotta leave her on the plants. I gotta make my way to this button next. Okay. I cannot call for her though, so that's a problem. Hmm. What if I sit on this one then? I now lift myself up. Oh, but I cannot call for her because she's gonna drown. What? How do we activate that button then? This one is quite confusing. I think I got a little... But if I do that... Oh, I think I know, I think I know. Hold up. Let me get her to that lily pad. Okay, make her sit down there. Next up. I'm gonna have to call for her and stop her as she's activating the button. There we go, so now we can cross. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, next. Let me activate this button. Okay. Can I sit on these lily pads? Yes, we can. But I feel like we gotta also call for her as well. So, uh, actually, hold up. There's a button here. What does this do? Ah, it's activating this one. Never mind. Okay, there we go. But of course, we cannot leave without her, right? We gotta also get her with us. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm actually gonna call for her to sit on that lily pad so she doesn't get drowned. Okay. Let me sit on this lily pad to make sure I'm not gonna die either. Oh, but I cannot call for her now. I think I gotta sit there yet to call for her. So what I'm gonna do instead, I'm gonna actually make my way over here. Let me turn this one around like that. And if I raise the water up, I can now call for her. Come on, buddy. Come on over. You're safe. Here we go. Awesome. These puzzles are so good. And now we're gonna be able to go to this lily pad. Uh, jump on this flower. And turn it around. Awesome. These puzzles are so good. Senshu? Yes? Senshu down. Huh? I don't know what to say. Don't be down. Don't be down. This is for Senshu. 
These ones are so small. Ah, uh, she gave me something to eat. Mumu will take all the scents she doesn't want any. Have some purple ones for me. I'll take them later. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, anyway guys, there we have it. This has been uh, the first episode of Antivine. If you guys enjoyed this game and want to carry on the adventure here, let me know down in the comments below. Leave a like, of course, if you enjoyed this. And if you guys want to grab the game for yourselves or as a present to a friend, of course, check out the links down below in the description. The game is available right now. And let me know if you guys get it and uh, what do you think about it. But that being said, thank you very much for watching. Stay safe and I'll see you all very soon. Bye, everybody.